post-crash coins that haven't pumped yet, Terra, on Federal Reserve, Ethernity Chain, and Audius. What's going on guys? Randy here with another crypto video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification, and if you would like more exclusive content from me, make sure to check out my Patreon link down in the description below. So I'm going to take a look at some post-crash coins that haven't pumped yet in the Terra, Ethernity Chain, Audius, and on Federal Reserve. Now there's plenty more, but these are ones that I saw that have potential to bounce back nicely here in the coming months. But remember, don't go out and buy these coins, do your own research, because the crypto market could crash again. You just don't know. We're not out of the woods yet. We are still below the 200-day moving average, so we are currently in a bearish trend. That doesn't mean we're in a bear market. It just means that anything could happen at this point. It could, it could go lower at any point, or it could just... Uh, you know, break that break that bearish trend and move to the upside. So be careful with any trades that you're making, especially these listed here that have already crashed pretty good. So first up is Unfederal Reserve. This is a software as a service entity that prides itself on five core principles, safety, courtesy, inclusion, show, and efficiency. These principles are ingrained in the product from the customer experience to ensuring it works for everyone at lightning fast speeds, Reserve lending on the Unfederal Reserve platform is a fork of Compound. For everyday DeFi users, this means the Reserve lending platform benefits from long history of stable, secure transactions. As a B2B lending platform, Unfederal Reserve provides tools to businesses that do not have access to more traditional methods of borrowing. Recently, Unfederal Reserve launched their Reserve lending May 6th, Unfederal Reserve is proud to announce the launch of Reserve Lending, a compound-based DeFi solution that looks to provide a secure, safe platform for peer-to-pool to peer lending. This release is the first phase in Unfederal Reserve's roadmap toward reserve business-to-business -business where qualified vetted parties have access to safe, legally compliant liquidity. Right now, Unfederal Reserve is only sitting at 21 cents. It has a market cap of $68 million with a circulating supply of $322 million. Unfederal Reserve's all-time high was $1.71 back only 20 days ago. And since it's dropped, it has completely crashed to eight, down 87%. This is a project with a ton of promise that just got completely slaughtered over this uh, most recent crash. You're looking at some bargain basement prices here. In the last 24 hours, it's only up 12.5%. Maybe investors are starting to notice uh, how bad Unfederal, Unfederal Reserve got hit, and they're jumping in. Okay, next up is Audius. They are an Ethereum-based streaming app looking to take on Spotify and Apple Music by offering artists a better deal. Like many blockchain projects, Audius is both a company and a network controlled by token holders. Streaming music is free for now and artists mainly use it to build their fan base. Tokenized monetization options will come later, but when they do, artists will have incredible flexibility. Built with the best, we designed it with you in mind and with them by our side, so they have advisors such as Deadmau5, Rez, Blau that are helping to shape this platform. These are big artists that are putting their input into this, this real world working app that has over 3 million users to date. Audis is just trying to give power back to the artists. Music platforms were at their best when they listened to what artists and fans wanted, not corporations or major labels. That's a lot of what cryptocurrency is, which is cutting out the middleman, taking profits, distributing to content creators as well as the listeners. Audius is currently $1.24 with 278 million dollar market cap. All-time high for Audius was $4.95 2 months ago. In the past 24 hours it's only up 10% and you have to remember that this is a finished product that is working and people are actually using it. You would like to think that real world value would result in future gains. Audius Audio can be purchased at Binance, Gate.io, Uniswap, HitBTC. All right, now next is Terra Luna. This is a decentralized financial infrastructure and blockchain protocol that introduces some unique concepts and theories into the market. The network leverages a native token, stablecoin protocol, Oracle system, 
in smart contracts to bring users programmable money for the internet. Anchor Protocol allows Terra stablecoin deposits to earn stable yield, powered by block rewards of leading proof of stake blockchains. With Mirror Protocol, this allows creation of fungible assets, synthetics that track the price of real world assets. Mirror synthetics are intended to be used as key building blocks in smart contracts and to bring the world's assets to the blockchain. And Terra is accessible on leading blockchains. Terra aims to make its stable coins available to every developer on every blockchain now live on Ethereum and Solana and coming to more soon. So essentially what Terra is doing is that they make stable coins. Okay, currently Terra Luna is $7.02. Market cap is Two billion six hundred ninety million. Past twenty four hours, it's up fourteen percent, but still down seventy percent from its all time high two months ago. It was twenty two dollars and thirty six cents. It was a top twenty cryptocurrency and really got kicked pretty good the past thirty days. I don't think it's going to be down for too long. I think it's going to re rebound, and I think it's a good buying opportunity. Out of all these, this might be the best buying opportunity because it does sit in the top one hundred and it's going to get a lot of eyeballs when more money comes into the market. Last up is Eternity Chain, and this is a community-oriented platform that produces limited edition authenticated NFTs by your favorite artists and endorsed by those who you admire. With Eternity Chain, 90% of the profits end up going toward uh, artist foundations. Now this is the Eternity Marketplace right now. Eternity recently just launched their Behind the Mask series and before that was their Tony Hawk Legend sale as well as uh, their their Pele launch. Taking a look at their Pele launch just last week Pele's NFT collection raised $750,000 on Eternity and 90% of the proceeds will go to his namesake foundation. That's pretty awesome stuff there. Next up, Eternity Chain is going to have their Crypto Legends launch, their first authenticated collectible for the OGs of crypto stewardship, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, their leaders working daily to move the whole crypto space forward, and then 90% of the profits will go to a New York City nonprofit, Row New York. Two months ago, NFTs were all the rage and have really taken a beating, probably more than any other coin out there, in my opinion. If you just take a look at the charts, there's some really great projects that are down big time now. But don't forget that these things kind of work in cycles, just like it was uh, DeFi summer last summer. And then in the new year, DeFi kind of took the back seat to NFTs. And now DeFi is starting to, starting to come back around. Well, NFTs just might make a breakout again in October. As the NFT market is projected to double by that point in October, as trading volume surges. So I don't think that because projects like Eternity are down, Ecomi, uh, Bonly, or Rarible, Muse, just because these projects are down now, we're going to come back around into a second wave for NFTs. Now's the time to pick up your favorite projects and get ready for this next wave. Using a linear regression method, analysts at Invez have determined that NFT trade volumes could rise to 125.9 million in July and 175.2 million in October. The market for non-fungible tokens is, is expected to maintain its rapid growth trajectory this year as demand for digital collectibles continues to grow, according to the new forecast from Invez, an online investing news and evaluation platform. That's great news for NFTs and these are projects that will come back around. I think leading the charge, Eternity Chain. Right now, Eternity Chain is $7.15 with an $80 million market cap. Like I said, it got absolutely slaughtered during this most recent uh, downturn. It's holding steady around the $20 range and then just kept on dropping and dropping. It finally bottomed out at $3.24 and it had an all-time high of $73.86 just two months ago. There's a lot of hype for Eternity Chain. I know a lot of people got wrecked buying at the top or even in, even in the middle, even if you bought at $50 or $40, you're still looking at a huge loss. A couple things you can do, either dollar cost average in, which I'm sure those people that, that bought at the top are probably over the project if they didn't sell already, but either dollar cost average in, or if you're new to the project, when you're 90% down, the only place to go now is up. So $7.15 for a project that has 11 million circulating supply, that's the, that's a steal. Like the article said, NFTs are only going to grow from here on out. And I think we're going to have a second phase or a second 
NFT season where you're going to see these projects come back around, especially if Eternity Chain keeps on bringing in some of these massive artists and sports figures. Right now, you can get Earth Eternity Chain over at Uniswap, Gate.io, and Who.com. All right, that's all I have for you today. Let me know down in the comments which one of these four projects do you like, or which one do you know of that, have, that hasn't pumped yet. Now remember, this market could, could go either way. It could end up tumbling, or it could shoot up to the moon like we all hope for, but just remember that these projects could go down even more if, if Bitcoin doesn't break out of this bearish trend. Just wanted to throw that out there. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to get notified when I post more videos. And also check out my Patreon. Link is down in the description. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.